Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video is all going to be about how to manage your period on the trail. So guys, if you're not female, you may not want to watch this video. Guys, I mean, I guess if you want to hear about blood, periods, all these kind of things, you may want to X out. But gals who hike, this video is for you. I'm going to talk about how to manage your period on the trail. Before making this video, I did some research and I talked to a bunch of ladies who had through hiked the Pacific Crest Trail. And I asked them, how did you manage your period on the trail? Now, I would say the majority of them said they got an IUD and then they didn't really have a period on the trail. Okay, well, there's that. You could go that way. IUDs don't work for a lot of women, and a lot of women do have periods when they have an IUD. So just because you have an I IUD doesn't mean you aren't gonna have a period. Now, a lot of women don't have periods on IUDs, but it's not a guarantee. You're not gonna say, hey, I'm gonna get an IUD, I'm never gonna have a period. I wouldn't go in it because of that reason. So, there's tampons, there's menstrual cups, there is pads, and what I'm gonna talk about here today. Now, when you're on the trail, of course, you must follow the Leave No Trace principles, which means pack it in pack it out. So, I'm just going to show you here 12, oh I'm dropping, 12 tampons. 12 tampons. This is on average how many tampons get used in a cycle. So if you have a five day cycle, I mean you might actually use more if you're using three to four tampons a day you're gonna use way more than this but I would say this is about average at least for me so there's 12 tampons um, I would have to carry these in with me on the trail and make sure I have them when I have my period and then when I take them out I can't just throw them away right so I have to now take these that are filled with blood. Now, granted, these 12 OBs, these aren't even with the applicators, these are the tiny ones, these 12 tampons weighed 0.87 ounces. So, just imagine, okay, these are now filled with blood, um, I wrapped some toilet paper around them, and I have to put them in a Ziploc bag. Imagine all of that for 12 tampons. That's a lot of stuff to carry. And, you know, it, honestly, it can get smelly. If you're carrying that for three to four days in a Ziploc bag, uh, that's, I mean, they make odor-proof bags. That's a, a thing you could try, um, but not the best thing, right? Same thing with pads. Pads are even bigger, and they have more trash than tampons. So just imagine again lugging all of that around with you making sure you have it available when you do have your period um my period is personally very on schedule but i know for for many women it is not so imagine having to have this kind of supply at all times just to make sure you're prepared when you get your period. Menstrual cups were also a fan favorite on the PCT with women. However, I worry both with tampons and menstrual cups, I worry about the sanitary aspect of it. When you're on the trail, when you're backpacking, you are not very sanitary. I mean, you try as best as you can, um, but you're not necessarily washing your hands all the time. You don't have soap. You don't, um, you know, you are very dirty. The under, underneath your fingernails is gonna be filthy on the trail. Filthy. Um, and just imagine you're gonna have to stick your finger up there to apply a tampon. You're gonna have to stick three or four fingers up there to insert a menstrual cup and to take it out. 
that to me is not very sanitary on the trail. I have heard of a lot of ladies getting infections while on the trail, whether that be from inserting a menstrual cup or a tampon or just um, in general not being sanitary. I don't know what the correlation is, but you don't want to mess around with that. You really don't. Um, you want to stay as sanitary as possible when you can on the trail, especially in that region. So I wanted to share with you another option that personally I think is a great way to eliminate all of this trash and stuff you have to carry around and stuff you have to remember to take with you. Um, again, with the resupply boxes, you'll have to make sure that your certain resupply box with your tampons or pads is coming at the right time and all these logistical things that you will have to think about that can put a damper on your hike. So here's what I have for you gals. You've probably heard of like the period panty, right? So I hadn't really heard much of this until I found out about NYX wear. So NYX wear makes these sport period panties. I wanted to show you what I got. So I got some thongs because I prefer thong underwear. So I just wanted to show you what they look like. So this is the thong. It's super, super lightweight material. It's that like wicking, sport wicking material. So it dries super, super fast, right? And then it kind of feels like it has a little bit of a panty liner in it. You can kind of see here, um, because the material is so thin, you can kind of see where the outline of the panty liner is. Now it's not a panty liner that you can remove, right? They claim to hold three tablespoons worth of a liquid, which is comparable to about one to two tampons, okay? So, that is huge, guys. Huge! And they have odor-proof technology in the little pad lining area, and it is a sport material underwear. So, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, here we go. You take two of these with you on your hike, right? You have them with you all the time. These two underwear together weigh 1.1 ounces, okay? That is nothing. That is nothing, okay? Two underwear, 1.1 ounces. You always have your tampons, you always have your pads, and you always have your menstrual cup. In 1.1 ounces, no other trash, no other anything. How awesome is that, ladies? Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm like super stoked on this. Basically, you wear one, when you feel like you need to change it like you would a tampon, you just take it off, you rinse it, right, and you put your other pair on. Then your first pair is now wet because you've rinsed it out, you've rinsed the blood and all of that, and if you would like I can do a tutorial on how I would do that out on the trail so that you're following all the, the leave no trace um, principles. Comment below if you want to see that. But then you have your wet undies, right? You'll just hang them on your pack and they'll dry really quick within the time of you needing to change the second pair. So there you go. Your period problems have been solved, ladies. Now, I heard some ladies talk about how they would never wear something like this on the trail because it's not wicking. Well, Nixwear, this company, they make these period panties in different materials. So this is the special sport material, which is, it's a Lycra Sport blend, okay? So they make them in another material as well, but they would be more sweaty. This is the special sport one. So you want to make sure to get the sport. Otherwise, yes, you would be sweaty. I would have tried these out on the trail and they were not sweaty whatsoever. They were wicking, they were obviously way better than like cotton underwear, 
because um, those get really just like wet and nasty and um, even when you're not on your period. I think this is a great, great option for managing your period on the trail. Again, it's way more hygienic because you're not having to stick any dirty fingers, hands up there. You don't have to mess with the trash of tampons or pads. You don't have to mess with sanitizing your menstrual cup. Menstrual cups have to be sanitized. So are you going to sanitize that in your cook pot? Like, what are you going to do? All these logistics you have to think about with other period products. These NYX Wear underwear are going to just make your period basically a non-thought on the trail, which is what you want. You want to be out there, you want to enjoy yourself, you want to have fun, think about hiking, take pictures, be with your friends. You don't want to think about your period and managing that. I think these are a great option. Like I said, I showed you the thong. This is the bikini version here. This is a size medium um, bikini brief type thing. So, And when you order from NYX Wear, uh, they give you this cute delicates bag for putting them in the laundry, which is really cool. And NYX Wear has uh, really, really awesome bras as well, sports bras especially. Their sports bras are incredibly comfortable and they make bras for all size women, which I love companies that do this. NYX Wear is really, really great about in their campaigns showing women of all sizes. So they have bras for any size. I guarantee you if you try a bra from them, it is going to be one of the most comfortable bras you've ever tried. So real quick before I get into the giveaway, yes there's a giveaway, woo! I want to show you the sports bra that I'm wearing from NYX Wear. I'm wearing the longevity bra. I'm probably not the best person to show this because I have no chest whatsoever. So I would love to see a review on this of someone that has more of a chest. Um, but I think, personally, it is very, very, very comfortable. Um, it has a little bit of a longer panel down here. It's really nice because it doesn't dig in. With a lot of my other sports bras, I have issues of the elastic band just like being so tight that it digs in. But because I have such small boobs, I have to get the smallest size bra, otherwise there's like way too much material. So like I have to get that size bra, but then this part is like super, super tight and it like digs in and then you have lines and it's not comfortable to like move and work out, right? But with this bra, because of the large panel, um, I mean my boob stops like right here and there's a good two inches of fabric that goes down. So as you can see, it has um, various straps there and it's super, super, super comfy. I never have lines when I take this off or anything like that. I would love to have someone review this that has like a, maybe a C or a D chest. Um, it is double lined, but there's no padding. So that is about the bra. <laughs> so again, if you are planning to through hike and you need underwear and bras, NYX Wear is the place to go especially the underwear. The bra is just like a bonus. <laughs> um, you can build a set with NYX Wear to kind of get a little bit of a discount, which is nice. So if you're doing that, I would highly recommend getting a bra because you'll probably need a bra for the trail anyway. So uh, you might as well get something that's super, super, super comfortable. And um, let's get on to the giveaway. Okay, gals, I have two of these NYX wear bikini style, so not the thong, but the bikini ones I showed you, bikini style underwear to give away, 
which is so exciting. Nixwear was nice enough to give me some in-store credits to try out their underwear and their uh, bra, but I don't need five pairs of underwear. So I bought these two guys for you. This is how you can enter. So I have a medium and a small and um, just comment below if you would like a medium or if you would like a small. So just comment medium or small and subscribe to my channel. So again, all you have to do is comment below if you want the medium or the small underwear and subscribe to my channel. That's it. That's all you have to do and you could win one of these. Yay! Again, also in the same comment, please let me know if you would like a video on how you would go about washing these on the trail. Again, you'll probably have to change these multiple times a day on the trail depending on how heavy your flow is. So if you're not sure about how to get these clean or how long they take to dry, that kind of thing, I would be more than happy to do that kind of follow-up video. I have the link below where you can purchase these awesome, awesome underwear. And you can also look at all of their bras and all of the cool stuff that this company does. I feel really fortunate to get to work with a company like Nixwear because not only do they have really, really cool products, but they are very, very conscious about their message. I just, again, I just really love the campaigns that they put out with all different shapes and sizes of women. I personally can't stand it when clothing stores or lingerie or whatever just have this one type of woman in their campaign. Most people don't look like that. It's hard to then picture yourself in those clothes. So I really love that Nixwear has just a variety of women in their campaigns. They're really all about boosting women's confidence, getting women out in nature, hiking, biking, running, working out, yoga. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next adventure. Okay, bye.